man, we've been looking at ARM templates for a while now, and we've gotten pretty good at them. But how can you use your ARM templates in your CI CD pipelines? Find out next time when we do just that using GitHub Actions on the DevOps Lab. <laughs>
So the way they do that in GitHub is in your .github slash workflows directory, you get to define what your workflows are going to be, and you define them in YAML. So I have, well, I'm saying anytime there is a push into my main uh, branch, it will go ahead and kick off, and I have three jobs. The first two jobs, build and provision and configure, those are going to run in parallel. So my build is a pretty standard build. So if you think about what actions really are, it's really like an action or a task runner where it does one thing after another after another. So I'm literally this a standard build for a .NET application. I check out my code, I set up NuGet, I set up .NET Core, then I do a restore, build, test, and then I copy things around. Right? And then at the end, I publish everything back up to GitHub. Where it gets fun is when I do my provision and configure, because this is the new part. Um, I didn't know how to do this at first, so I just quickly Googled and I went into Microsoft Docs that showed me how I can use the Azure CLI to deploy an ARM template into Azure. So that's literally what I'm doing. First thing that I do is I check out all of my code, and then I issue two commands. The first Azure CLI command, I'm just logging into my Azure subscription using a service principle. And then when that's done, I'm deploying that tt-iac.json file. That's my ARM template. I'm going to go ahead and deploy that into Western United States. And it's that simple, right? So these two jobs happen in, in parallel. And when both of these jobs are finally done, then it will go ahead and fan in, and it will deploy my application. First, it's going to download the zip file that I built earlier, and then it will go ahead and deploy. How do you deploy a zip file into Azure App Service? There are tasks that do this, but because I don't know what the secrets are for my app service, because I'm doing it uh, on the spot, I'm going to go ahead and use a service principle to help me deploy. And again, I'm just using the Azure CLI. So first thing I do, I log in using my service principle. And then using the Azure CLI, I again deploy my zip file into the correct app service. So now, if we go ahead and jump back to our application, it looks like we built, we have provisioned, Let's take a look at that. And this should look very familiar. We get this massive amount of JSON back. And then I go ahead and deploy my application all the way into Azure. So now if we jump back into my portal, we can refresh this. We can see, oh, look at that. We have a new resource group. And if we drill into the resource group, we can see here's my app service plan and also my app service itself. So let's take a look at that. And we'll click on the link, bring up the application, and first time is a little bit slower because warm up, but still very quick. Voila, there you go. There's the application provisioned and deployed using ARM templates in GitHub Actions. What do you think of that? I think, Abel, you learn very well. <laughs> <laughs> you did apply everything we discuss on the since the past few episodes on ARM, everything from A to Z, even the la latest one. It's really cool. You put everything together on GitHub, uh, and now we can deploy directly from there. This is really amazing. Having a complete CI CD in GitHub with the GitHub action. That's really cool. Yeah, there is so much power once you can hook your CI CD pipeline uh, into infrastructure as code. And specifically this time we're using ARM templates, right? One of the things that I love the most with ARM templates is uh, it's idempotent, right? So I can run this over and over and over again. And all it does is it just checks, hey, the resources I have out in Azure, has it been deployed yet? If it hasn't, it'll go ahead and deploy it. If it's already deployed, it'll just look at it and say, has anything changed? Because if it has, the deployment or what, what's been provisioned, it really should match what is in my ARM template. And if it isn't, it will make it so, right? And that right there is DevOps best practices. So man, like I always said, power and flexibility of ARM templates is freaking awesome. And using them now in your CI CD pipelines, it really helps us deliver more value faster. So viewers, if you want to learn more about ARM templates and CI CD pipelines using GitHub Actions, 
Check out those links below and join us next time on the DevOps Lab. Thank you.